Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Andrew, I feel like that brief period of the past like day and a half of dry conditions yeah. was way too short. <laughs> I know, uh, we could, we sure could uh, take it and uh, we saw a lot of sun yesterday. It was beautiful, but some changes on the way. Luckily today during the uh, daytime was mostly dry, but tonight it's a changeable situation. We have some moisture coming in. It's highly elevation dependent. So a lot of the wider valleys seeing some plain rain right now, but if you're in the higher terrain spots, already seeing some wet snow. This is the view from Killington, a snowy shot. We got a report in of some wet snow falling in the Queechee and Woodstock area, but the temperature is 34 degrees. So even areas seeing wet snow at the onset have temperatures in a lot of cases that are above freezing. So even some wet roads where you're seeing the snow right now, but certainly expect any of the higher terrain spots to have some slick travel tonight. Here's the view though from Rutland, not far from Killington, just some plain rain. So as you can see lower down, just dealing with the raindrops higher up, seeing those snowflakes right now. So we do have some winter alerts in effect. Uh, we have a couple waves of moisture coming through tonight into tomorrow, and then more mountain snow expected Sunday night and into the day on Monday. So there are some winter storm warnings for areas in pink for the Adirondack Park along and east of the Green Mountains towards the White Mountains as well. And then with the purple shading, a winter weather advisory still a few inches of accumulation possible for the Northeast Kingdom into the Champlain Valley and off into the St. Lawrence Valley as well. Something else to take note of, we turn our clocks ahead one hour tonight. So by tomorrow, our sunrise an hour later, but that sunset very close to 7 p.m. We'll take that and then one month from now, how about that, a 7.30 p.m. sunset. So here's the view on storm tracker of the storm system moving in. We have a couple areas of low pressure and a lot of moisture surging in from the south and west. So across our region, you can see the blue shadings in the higher terrain where we have the wet snow and then the green is rain in the wider valleys. So Messina, Malone, Potsdam, just seeing some plain rain right now towards Route 11 but you head towards the Tri Lake, Saranac Lake, Lake Placid, mixing in some wet snow. And a lot of the Adirondack Park has some snow right now. Alberg, Bur uh, Burlington, and Plattsburgh, just seeing some steady plain rain. But then you head towards the Green Mountains, Montpelier, Randolph, towards Queechy, and then parts of the Northeast Kingdom seeing some wet snow. It's a wet ride on Route 7 from Rutland to Manchester, but you head towards the Southern Green Mountains and points east, some wet snow. I-91, mostly rain though for Springfield, down down towards Brattleboro right now. So temperatures across the board are still in the 30s to about 40 degrees. So even when we have the wet snow, uh, a lot of roads are just wet right now, but you're gonna wanna be weary of some slick travel heading into the overnight in the higher terrain spot. So here's the look on Futurecast. You can see the wet snow in the mountains, rain in the wider valleys all the way through later this evening and into the overnight. But I think tomorrow morning, even towards Lake Champlain, you may make a brief flip over to some wet snow and then some rain and snow showers will continue into the afternoon, kind of letting up a bit. But then tomorrow night and into the day on Monday, there'll be a gusty northwest flow. So some snow showers will continue, especially in the mountains, all the way through the day on Monday, finally wrapping up by Tuesday morning. And it looks like through the day on Tuesday, finally we have more sunshine in the mix. Here's a look at our snowfall totals all the way through Monday evening. So our highest elevation spot seeing the most snow a foot plus for the northern Adirondacks and towards say the Mount Marcy area. A pretty good swath though of four to eight for northern New York. I think if you're right near Lake Champlain, Plattsburgh or Burlington, maybe a slushy inch or two, but you head just east and get some uh, higher terrain. You can see a foot plus for Jay, Stowe, towards Sugarbush. The Northeast Kingdom about four to eight inches plus, especially in the higher terrain parts. And then Southern Vermont, a foot potential for the Southern Green Mountains and totals really ramp down as you head towards the upper valley, just a dusting to a couple inches, say, in the Brattleboro area. So here's a look at the five-day forecast. We have rain, wet snow, and some gusty wind tomorrow. Heading into Monday, it's mostly snow in the mountains, breezy out of the northwest, could be some gusts up to 40. We'll be watching a couple of our couple of our rivers heading into tomorrow night and Monday as well. Looks like perhaps the Otter Creek and Rutland could get into minor flood stage. And then as we look ahead to Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, back into some drier conditions with temperatures back into the low 50s. Amanda.